Hey, what's up, guys? Sojourner's Best here. We're off to a quick start this morning. Apple just announced Mac OS 10.8 Mountain Line. It's going to be a brand new software update coming to the Mac platform that's really going to be merging iOS with Mac OS 10, bringing over a whole bunch of new features that are in iOS 5. So I'm going to talk about um, a lot of these features, but I'm going to show you one new feature right now. This is the new Messages application for uh, the Mac desktop. So anyway, I'm going to launch a new application right here, and it's basically going to be bringing iMessage to your, your Mac desktop or your laptop. So now you'll be able to communicate with an iPod Touch, an iPhone, an iPad, or your computer so now I already have this uh, little messages window popped up here I already got a message ready to go I'm going to hit hey send that and that will pop up on my iPad right here just like that so I already sent these uh, I had to do this a couple times that's why you see all these hey messages but anyway um, just like I just showed you right there with that picture right there I can add a picture over to this to this message I'm going to hit send again and that will send over to this iPad there it is right now and I can go ahead and tap on it, look at it, save it, do whatever I want to do with it. Uh, so this is pretty cool. It's going to be a lot of people calling this the death of BBMs, but uh, this is going to be working cross-platform, and uh, so I think it's going to be cool. This is iMessage. You can actually not iMessage, but messages. But this is actually available right now. I'm going to put the link down below. So if you're running Mac OS 10 line, you can actually download this and try it out until Mac, Mac OS 10 Mountain Line comes out uh, later on this year. All right, now it's going to talk about some of the other new features in Mountain Line, and one of those things is AirPlay. Now you'll be able to send. Say you're watching an iTunes movie on your MacBook Air you'll now be able to send that wirelessly to your AC TV in your living room. Of course, that TV is going to need to have an Apple TV hooked up to it, but you'll be able to send that video over, that song over, or that um, that gaming application, you want to mirror gaming, anything like that, you'll now be able to do that via AirPlay, and that's going to output in 720p HD, and it'll automatically scale to, to your TV set as far as the resolution, so that's going to be good. And also, too, they're going to be bringing a game center now, so you have cross-platform gaming. So you have all the, the uh, multiplayer things now you can do in game center, so if somebody's playing Real Racing 2 on the iPad, you'll now be able to play against them while you're playing on your Mac, so that's pretty cool. And also, you have built-in Twitter integration all throughout the system now, something that you just found in iOS 5. So now if you're on a web page or something like that, you want to share it via Twitter. It has a dedicated little button there, a little sharing button for it. Um, you can share that automatically to your Twitter account and, and send that to all of your followers. And also now it's going to be getting notification center. Uh, so it looks very similar to the same notification center that's on the iOS right now. And also too, you'll be getting a little pop-up notification in the top right-hand corner. So if you have a new uh, friend request or something like that, it'll pop up up there. So it's pretty similar to Growl notification system that you've been using uh, Max for a long time. If you ever use that, it's pretty... It was not similar to that, but it does replace a lot of those features uh, that Growl was providing for us for all these years. Another thing that Apple is doing that some people are kind of worried about, especially developers, they now have this new gatekeeper um, uh, feature now, which is going to be helping you security conscious people out there. So if you wanted to say if you want to only run applications that are approved by Apple in the Mac App Store, you can now enable gatekeeper. And so no other application will run um, besides that those applications that are approved in the Mac App Store. Uh, so Apple said it's not trying to you know sway people to use use the app store nothing like that they said it just adding that as a little security feature I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But some other things they're going to be bringing over calendars, um, the notes application, and also reminders are going to look very similar to their iOS counterparts. They're going to be bringing that over to uh, Mac OS 10 Mountain Line. And so the whole theme of this, again, those are pretty much all the big features that they talk about. The whole theme of this is really merging iOS to make a seamless experience as you move from one device to another device to another device or as you communicate uh, between all these different devices to have a unified platform and a look. And so this update is going to be coming out in summer 2012. And Apple has said that now you're going to be uh, be able to expect yearly updates for the Mac platform, something very similar and akin to um, iOS. Uh, so now you can expect a yearly update probably every summer now uh, to your Mac OS 10 platform, just like you get in iOS. And all those updates now are going to be going through the Mac App Store itself. So we hit the software update button um, in the main menu there. It'll take you to the Mac App Store. Then you can download the latest software update. So again, they're really trying to make it a lot like going through iTunes and, and downloading the latest software update for iOS. It's going to be very similar now on your Mac platform. So all these changes, in my personal opinion, all the changes I think are pretty good. Um, I think it's going to be a solid update. And they keep the price down to maybe 30 and 20 bucks for this update. I'll be a happy person. Um, we will have to wait and see about that. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below about what you think about all these cool new features in Mountain Line. And thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.